Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are taking a look at my radio levers. A radio lever is like a radio button in that only one of these can be down at the same time. So you can't have two outputs on at once. I can find this useful maybe for uh, switching networks or maybe a minecart station or something of the sort. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Seth Bing's latest video where he had his quick reset buttons for quick spamming and I thought what else can I apply changing the lever to a different value to, or button to a different value to do. So this is what I came up with. The first attempt at this was this one over here. It's a bit bigger. Uh, it's still not perfect but this is what it does. First thing that happens is we set a redstone block which will spawn it right there so the first thing that will do is it will power this array of uh, blocks here. This middle row is all the same. It will set the redstone block above it to air. So if one's here, it'll destroy that. This one here, it will set all set the lever over here to off. So it'll turn in essence it will turn all of these levers off instantly. And finally, we will also clear the entire row of blocks here which is our output. So these four blocks will all get destroyed. And after that, this block still exists for that, even though this has been deleted, this re this repeater will be powered for a tick. It'll go through, and first thing we'll do is set the lever that powered it, because when it's here, only this one is off. And when that happens, we'll turn this lever back on, only the one we wanted. As you can see, that little wobble of as it gets turned off and then back on again. And finally, we'll just set this redstone block here on for output. Now, let's give you a dem another demonstration. You can watch the output here and possibly see the redstone blocks appear for a tick. Or maybe half tick on some of them. But this is how this is just quite simple design. And what this last final thing does is two ticks later, it will cause a block update on these command blocks so they realize what state the lever is in again. Now, uh, what Seth Bling did in his video is he used another command block over here to set his set these command blocks back to their original value, and so they don't know any redstones happened at all. I figured it was just as easy just to send a redstone signal back. Though, if you want to do this completely wirelessly and have this way away from your switchers, you can either do that technique or use wireless redstone over here. Have a set block to send a pulse over this line and then clear it again. And just to have this hidden away somewhere else, so you can have this lot, this little structure here, all by itself. You can also put these command blocks behind it and power these uh, from like this level beside them to cause the same block update if you want them behind the levers instead. Anyway, this means Chartreuse. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you find this useful for something. As always, have a nice day.